And okay, carbon share. Why do you need to share your carbon? Yeah. Um, actually, the reasons why uh, we started carbon share slightly more than two years ago, but because we realized that climate change is a big problem oh, that indeed. needs yes. uh, mm. participation from everyone. Exactly. Not just the government, but also the non-state actor from corporations yeah. until individuals. Yeah, the civil society. Yeah. yeah. So, um, in our view, um, all business eventually needs to decarbonize. Yeah. And they would want to um, include their end user to help them in their decarbonization journey as well. And so that's the thing, which exactly. is good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a mm. blessing in disguise, actually, Papa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, oh yes, decarbonizers, carbon activists all over the world. Welcome back to another episode of Carbon Forum. This time around, we need to understand when you do business in carbon, there's got to be a lot of uh, risks that you have to mitigate. And we're going to talk with one of the experts on this uh, line of business, of course. And it's a she. She is the CEO of Carbon Share. I don't know what that means. Whether you want to share any carbon whatsoever to anyone. <laughs> Let's see what she needs to say. Miss uh, Fela Suva, the CEO of Carbon Share. Hello, Ibu Fela. Apa Hello. kabar? Hello, Pak Pompi. Kabar ah. baik. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you very inviting. much for yeah. for having uh, for coming here and then. Uh, it is a pleasure for, for us to have you here. And okay, carbon share. Why do you need to share your carbon? Yeah. Um, actually, the reasons why uh, we started carbon share slightly more than two years ago, but because we realized that climate change is a big problem oh, that indeed. needs yes. uh, mm. participation from everyone. Exactly. Not just the government, but also the non-state actor from corporations yeah. until individuals. Yeah, the civil society. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why we want to democratize access to climate solutions. Ooh. Hence the name, Carbon Share. So share the That's, that's kind of divine and people. very divine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Pa. <laughs> okay, uh, keep, keep talking. Continue. So, yeah. Um, nearly more than two years ago, si Pa, kita uh, started Carbon Share mm. and then... Um, what just an idea back then idea and dreams and mm. passion basically mm. when we started now become a company that help other company to decarbonize all oh, right 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 so what do you do when you uh, actually try to sort of assist mm. any companies to decarbonize what do you do we have three main offering or mm. service part mm. um, one is academy so okay. we import we realize that it's important to fit or change the mindset first before okay. we decarbonize mm. company, mm. decarbonize the people first. Oh, so here comes the so the training, mindset needs to be changed. Too. Yeah. Oh. So professionals, uh, we realize the important to equip professionals with um, the skill set needed, mm -hmm. so they can drive, enable, and also shape the culture mm -hmm. uh, to drive sustainability in their companies. Oh. And our second offering part is GAG Misery. So, JG oh. accounting basically. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. This is done through our API. So, we build Carbon Shares API oh, that can yeah. automatically uh, calculate the JG emissions oh. associated from a transaction when it is uh, integrated in our client's platform. Right, right. Any platform? Um, any what kind of platforms? Yeah, ERP um, or whatever? It's what more I? suitable for e commerce, e -commerce. or okay. um, ride hailing. So, basically, digital platform that has um, access to their end user. So, mm. B2B2C. I see. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many clients you have at the moment? Like we the one that already, perhaps you already did in the past, mm -hmm. uh, try to sort of uh, accompany them to decarbonize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, we have more than 20, but oh, yeah, uh, that's in the past two years. Two years, 20 clients, that means yeah. Yeah, like perhaps like one month for each client or something like that. That's kind of, that's you a put lot it of that works. Way. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, mm. If I may continue mm. uh, our third service. Um, so oh, sure. In JG yeah. Accounting, not just uh, providing API, but we also do it more conven conventionally. Yeah. So we have consulting arm. 
oh. that help um, clients to um, basically do end-to-end ESG um, ESG um, initiative, yeah. Okay. From um, assessing their materiality assessment hmm. and then developing ESG gap analysis right, 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 until right. developing net zero target and help them to initiate to uh, implement those initiatives. I see. And the last right. service is carbon offsetting. Hmm. So in here, um, we so, help clients. So you buy you buy uh, carbon credits to offset somebody else's exactly uh, deficit, something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly okay. like that. I understand. Well, that's very interesting. So, do you any uh, do you do any sort of uh, uh, developing any kind of solutions uh, for decarbonization? Yeah, uh, through the API. Oh. So the second one is API, right? Right. Okay. Um, for GAG measuring. Yeah. So we develop it. I don't quite understand the API. I understand what API is, but I don't quite understand how it works because normally you you provide the service of software service or application service. Yes. Yeah. But with API, how how do you actually do that? Because that means somebody else needs to have an an application that attached to your exactly. API. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, am yeah, I right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So please explain mm-hmm. a little bit more on that. So um, in our view, um, all business eventually needs to decarbonize. Yeah. And they would want to um, include their end user to help them in their decarbonization journey as well. I understand. Yeah. When, but that's scope three anyway, actually. When yeah, but when a client um, integrate our API mm-hmm. in their apps or in their uh, website, for instance, uh-huh. it can calculate the carbon footprint associated with their user's transaction. Okay. For instance, if we're talking about right hailing, uh-huh. um, Pak Pompi, you uh, use um, right hailing from here to your home, mm-hmm. how many kilometers, and yeah. then with this API, it will um, automatically. Uh, calculated how many uh, kilo CO2 associated mm. with your um, with your travel, for instance, yeah? from here to your home. Okay. So, it gives so uh, you you actually, I mean, your your API straight away conclude the equivalent of the uh, what you call it the uh, carbon sort of equivalent. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Volume yeah. or whatever yeah. units. Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, thank you. That's very interesting. So so if I if I need to attach to your API, what do I need to do? You need to contact us. We of will, course, we I will, will I will contact you. Will but what I'm saying is technically yeah. uh, I need to, to have your uh, your API sort of codes obviously. We will basically assist um, your IT team uh-huh. to integrate this API in your platform. All right. What kind of platform that you are willing to sort of uh, attach with? Um, right now, um, platform that has logistics or delivery oh. um, function. Okay. So like ride hailing or a delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and platform that um, has payment function like electricity okay, payments, okay. something see. like that. And platform that has... Um, Airlines, um, airlines transac- related transaction like buying airlines okay. ticket. So you're mainly focused on the any expanding sort of parameters on e- either it is for transportations or transactions or whatever. That's that's it, right? Our data activity uh-huh. is their distance travel or in terms of electricity is um, electricity the consumption yeah. yeah so the usage. the usage oh okay not spend based but um, the usage yeah but, yeah okay so you're using different kind of uh, variables uh, for for that okay, okay. wow I, i'd like to see it more actually you Thank have you. to sort of make a presentations in the association so we can actually yeah yeah you join as right yeah i join as well, what is your role in the uh, as yeah. i am a vp secretary but oh. Sek- ya, pak, ya. okay that's good that's good so you're working together with the uh, Pak Brian, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, a great Secretary. association, if I must say. Okay, very interesting. Thank you for joining the association. Anyway, uh, as I mentioned it earlier, it is about the mitigating of the risks. Mm. Uh, I mean, I understand that you claim that the carbon business is actually mitigating the whole uh, decarbonization sort of activities. Am I right? Actually, uh, if, if, if I get it I don't know. correctly, uh-huh. you mean is carbon credit. 
Uh-huh. Um, if carbon credit, it is um, should be complementary. So carbon credit or carbon offsetting is complementary rather than substitutes to a direct GAG reduction. So okay. we must reduce the GAG emissions first. And, right. then, and then for any unabated emissions or any emissions left, mm. we can use carbon credits to offset that. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, uh, when uh, which which part of it that actually the risk mitigating sort of uh, activity oh, car- for carbon? Yeah, for the carbonization. Mm, 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 mm. You you you're saying that the carbon business is actually mitigating the yeah 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 the yeah. risk for yeah. for. Uh, yeah. What you call it, the the carbonizations. So if you're talking about um, how business can mitigate carbon mm. uh, related risk mm. part, we need to firstly understand what are these risks. Okay. Right. Um, related to climate change, to carbon, mm. there are like three type of risk. First is physical risk. Okay. Second is transition risk, and third is financial risk. Okay. Um, the most common one is um, physical risk. So yeah. it's basically risks associated with um, damage or destruction because of the weather, extreme weather, mm. and then um, cyclone or natural disaster yeah. that arise because of climate change. Yeah. As we speak right now, uh, in central Java, for instance, there mm. is a flooding, flooding in Dema, in Kudus yeah. because yeah. of heavy yeah. rains uh, yeah. non-stops. Yeah. And this physical risk it will lead to property damage. Mm. So if a company has factory and it's damaged because mm. of uh, that climate change related natural disaster, mm. then it become a physical risk. Okay. And also um, it can increase operational uh, costs as well. Okay. Because, yeah, yeah. because why operational costs? For instance, there is a company um, operating using this infrastructure or mm. road and then this road is currently um, flooding, mm. then it will increase their operational costs, right? Okay. And and then we go to the second risk, it's a transition risk. Okay. So it's basically risks that are arising because we are shifting to low carbon economy. Uh, so this is risk related to policies changes, mm. changes and then um, technology and also shift in the market. Mm. So for instance, we're talking risks about a uh, policy, yeah? yeah. Um, ESG related policy or mm. carbon related policy are being implemented everywhere right now. Yeah. And even if our country is not yet implemented that, mm. we will get this quote unquote spillover effect of what other ah, countries okay. is doing. This yeah. is like uh, we kind of experience it right now when EU um, implement EU CBAM, Carbon yeah. Border Adjustment Mechanism. Yeah. Then our exporters. Um, now, if they want to enter EU market, they need to comply mm. with that. Okay. So that that sort of transition risk that I'm mm. talking about, mm. and the, um, the last, the last one is risk. financial risk. This is associated with basically both operational risk, uh, both um, uh, the 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 first two risk. Yeah. It has financial risk as well. For instance, physical yeah. risk it will increase costs. Yeah. And then physical risk, it will, or regulatory risk, transition risk, it can cause to stranded asset, mm. company's asset. Yeah. And um, there are also risks related to the increased insurance costs and others. So that's mm. physic, uh, financial risk. So companies need to uh, adequately uh, know this risk yeah. that will go, that will happening right now or mm. in the future. Yeah. So then they need to adequately prepare yeah. to mitigate and face that risk. Right. So that's what we're doing I in the it. consulting firm is to advise companies, not mm-hmm. only measure their GAG emissions, but also advise them uh, these are the risks yeah. that will um, come into your way yeah, if you yeah. don't change anything in your operations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. So, <laughs> Thank you. It's not only uh, aiming to earn more income, but also to actually mitigate the risk that they exactly. will they will face in the future, right? Exactly. So and that's the thing, which exactly. is good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a mm. blessing in disguise, actually, Pak Pompey, because the companies that will not only survive mm. but also thrive and come out yeah. as a winner. Yeah. Are the ones that can utilize this risk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shift it into opportunity. Okay. Like um, electric vehicle, 
yeah, 30 yeah. years ago the ones dominating our cars are Japanese brand for yeah, instance yeah. right right now we see more Korean brand yeah yeah because they've mitigated that okay yeah I mean uh, there is a sort of disruption in this process of this exactly. the transition risk right exactly. the transition risk anyway what is your hope and what is your aim in the future for carbon share of course what do you want to achieve yeah um, our North Star is impact so we hope that we can be we can help you're not support, supported by North Star though eh? no <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding I'm just kidding you're not <laughs> started your goal yeah, okay we have our angel investor yeah. uh, but our North Star is impact but so impact. We want to help these companies to Impactful, decarbonize, right? mm -hmm. yeah. Be it from um, um, integrating our API in their platform, mm. or um, help them to measure their GAG emissions, and then know their net zero plan and how to uh, have an imperative strategy mm. for that. So that's what we want we want to be impactful to them so they can um, manage the risk and they can do a more sustainable businesses mm, right that's good that's good i'd like to discuss with you in more detail on that matters of course thank you and then uh, what is your pain point so far when you do this business hmm. uh, don't tell me that everything is about <laughs> no, but it's just funny. This morning we we uh, get a wake up call. Oh. Well, our pain point is uh, mainly regulations. Okay. Um, I was trained in the energy industry. Okay. Um, it's highly regulated, mm -hmm. and when we when I so you're used to the you know uh, regulations, uh, rigid yeah. regulations, exactly. or anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we first enter in the carbon industry, it's mm -hmm. not yet fully regulated like, like ah, right now. But now okay. they're just introducing regulations and um, there are loophole, there are uh, gray area, there mm. are mm. things that might change. So uh, that's one of our pain points, mm -hmm. uh, how to um, navigate in the time of uncertainty. Oh, okay. Do you expect anything at all? from supports from the government or what, what is your expectations or if you have a say to the government what would you say um to well i actually always please open up this please, <laughs> open up that. please allow me to do this uh, it's something like that maybe. well yeah. um um i am Husnudon ya Pak ya. With the government have yeah. like a positive positive, pos positive positivity towards yeah. um, what they will do and I believe that what the government is trying to do hmm. is what's best for Indonesia is to reduce our uh, nation's GHG emissions. Okay. Um yeah. Oh, so, so that's your your hope. The yeah. only hope or <laughs> <laughs> so so just, and, and can... just focus on on that yeah. Okay. Uh, so if they're serious in doing that, then most probably all the necessary policies will follow that aim. Is that what you're saying? Um, because if that, then we have the same vision and mission. Ah, that's good. That's good. Okay. It's very interesting and Thank it's you. been very productive. Thank and you. I think it's, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, discussing with you. But please address a couple of words uh, to the audience. What would you... What is your closing statement, basically? Mm, Please. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I think one individual is not a little, so everyone can be part of the uh, the climate solutions. So don't be pessimistic. Do what we can do right now. Be it from um, turning off the lamps and then implement energy efficiency measure at home, or if you can. Um, advocate for the government to do uh, something that is more um, good for the environment which is right now I think um, the government is already on the right path most of the mm. times so but we as the we as the public we need to monitor and also to um, be their partner as well I believe that it's Climate change is not just the government's problem. We need to pitch in to be part of the solutions, mm. not just corporations, but also us individually. Wow. 
Well, thank you very much for being uh, with us. Thank and you, uh, that was uh, Ms. Vela Sufa from uh, Carbon Share. And she shared a lot of things related to the importance of doing the decarbonization that uh, really mitigating the uh, climate uh, change risk. And as we know it, that the top 10 of the risk, uh, of the global risk, is actually the first one is always related to the extreme weather which is caused by the climate change itself. So by doing the decarbonization seriously, then uh, Carbon Share hopes that it will mitigate such thing like that. Okay, that was very interesting and very productive uh, discussion from the Carbon Forum uh, with me, Pompi Dahidatolo, until the next episode. So please join us in the next episode, of course. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mm -hmm.